We are recording. We got Frenzy versus Z-Man. The rematch. Earlier on, Frenzy went Mario and Z-Man went Lucario, so this is going to be a different... Uh, this looks like it's going to be a completely different set. However, earlier, um, it went all the way to last hit, last game. Game 3. And Z-Man pulled it out with a clutch neutral air, and it was on FD. So he caught Mario slipping, and and that was the the win. That was the resulting matchup that we just watched. It was... Uh, Z-Man versus Sean Bruce, and that was coming from his win against Frenzy. Alright, Frenzy opting for Game & Watch. I'm not too sure how this matchup works, Game & Watch versus Sheik, on this game particularly, but it looks to me like Frenzy, and he loses his first stock. Alright, Frenzy's kind of feeling him out here, looking for some sort of opening, and Z-Man's Sheik doing Sheik things. Oh, good for tilt there. Nice get-up attack by Z-Man, knowing that he would have been all too vulnerable had he done anything else. Because that's what Frenzy was waiting for. Good forward tilt by Frenzy, getting Z-Man off stage. Z-Man is transforming, but he should probably... Oh, was he saved? He was saved! But this change might cost... No, it doesn't. Frenzy looking for a hard forward smash, but didn't get it. Z-Man living to 138% as she. How does this work? Who won 3DS? I think Sean Bruce did, actually. But I'll give you more on that. And yeah, there you go. K9 won it. We have a few viewers in the chat who have seen, who did see that matchup. 151%? Oh, okay, there it is. Z Man finally losing his first stock. Frenzy at only 21%. Not too much of a lead. Actually, they're even now. Relatively even. K9, that is Sean Bruce. AZ hype, Sean Bruce. Oh, good back air by Frenzy. Looks like he's trying to set up a forward smash going for a hard read there, but didn't get it. Setting up with back airs. He knows that back airs work pretty well in this game. As far as Game & Watch is concerned. Good down air. Oh, he went for it. <laughs> Probably went for the 9, but didn't get it. And let's see if Z-Man can... Oh, oh Z-Man escaped that down smash. That was really nice. Went for a good grab there. And that was a good back air to get Frenzy off stage. Frenzy doing the smart thing, saving a second jump there. And good up air by Z-Man to close out that stock. And Frenzy lived to a pretty good high percent. You should feel pretty good about that. He didn't die too soon. No, SS was not here uh, today. Not too sure where he is. Good forward tilt by Frenzy. He's getting a lot of opportunities getting Z-Man off stage. And, oh, gets the 7. Nice. They're back even. Intense. Hello, Nazo. All right. It looks like they're playing. It looks like they're feeling out, playing spacing, doing a little footsies here. And this is fun to see. This is always nice. Oh, good grab by Frenzy. Didn't get anything out of it though. And now Z-Man looking for the grab, but he gets grabbed again by Frenzy. And he finally gets the grab. Doesn't get anything off of it. Went for a read or a tech read, but it was not there. And these guys, they look like they know what each other's going for. It's kind of interesting to see because neither one of these players I'm not too sure are very familiar with this matchup but they're both just playing to their strengths and trying to figure it out as they go and it's really interesting to see a true testament to the AZ player's skill that is what we do oh went for a forward smash there didn't get it set up a good downer to get him onto the extra platform and oh wow Z man taking advantage of where that platform was that was nice oh but this is even still Frenzy getting a good forward air, I believe, to close out the stock. Down to down tilt. That was nice. Let's see if Z-Man can come up with anything to answer for that. It doesn't. I think that was an up tilt to down tilt? Interesting. All right, we got a grab to forward tilt there. Oh, he went for a fairy. Now he's getting the grabs with the dash attacks. That is what Sheik does. Oh, down smash grab, down smash grab right there. Nice up air by Z-Man. By Z and now, this is anybody's game. Wow, that air dodge. That was nice. Frenzy going for a neutral air. Doesn't get it. Goes for a forward air. A forward smash. Leads into a forward tilt. That was smart. And then he was going for probably another high number off stage there. Good forward air to get Z-Man off stage. Is this going to end it? And it does not. Z-Man makes it back with this up B. Man, this... These two have two close cut. Uh oh. It's down to the wire, guys. I feel like the next hit's gonna take it. Yes. Oh! Yes. Right there by Z Man. Let's go. Woo! 
Z-Man takes game one, and I don't know if you guys can hear him from here, but he's starting to get kind of hype. And now, it is on Frenzy to decide which character he's going to go with next. And the stage. Oh. It's intense. Uh-oh. Is this happening? Frenzy going Zelda against Z-Man Sheik? Oh boy, I believe we're using the Apex stage set list, and that would appear to be it. Thank you guys again for joining us, IC3 here. I am the Link main of AZ in Project Melee. This is Losers Semis. So now viewers, let us know what you guys think about this matchup in particular, or any of the players you're seeing before you. One being Zach DeChico, the other being Zach Baker from Pinnell. Frenzy and Z-Man. And we are going, getting underway. Possibly, maybe not. I think we have a, a change of track going on. Z-Man up a game. Let's see if there we go. Sorry, that was kind of bothering me. Now Z-Man is capitalized. Yep, change of track. Change of track. Sorry, guys, for the delay. And they're ready. And this map, or I thought they were ready. Uh oh. The Chico battery. The Chico's battery died. Uh oh. Now he's got to do this without his MP3, or without his iPod. So let's see how this goes. This could be different, this could be the same. Let's see. Oh, nice. Over B into neutral B by Frenzy there. And let's see if Z Man can get plenty of. Oh, nice. Alright, this is looking like a better option for Frenzy, going Zelda as opposed to Game & Watch. I think that matchup was just a little too, uh, too something. Frenzy didn't like it, so he switched characters, and he's got a pretty good character pool from what I understand and what I know, so let's see how this works. And Z-Man going for the forward tilt forward air combo, didn't get it. Zelda has a few combo breakers of her own, so a few things Z-Man are going to have to look out for, Z-Man's going to have to look for out, out for a... Yep, there it is, the forward air. I didn't want to say it quite yet because I knew it happened. Commentator's curse, you know how it is. And good dash attack by Frenzy, setting something up, and same thing with Z-Man, answering with a dash attack of his own. Jab to grab, nice to forward air. Let's see what he can do with it. And Frenzy making it back. Oh, the needles got him off to the ledge, but it didn't matter. Frenzy setting up with those over Bs, prevented, prevented any further follow-up. And it looks like he's trapping him. Oh, jeez. And really smart by Z-Man. Uh, holding him, letting the bombs go off, and then proceeding to look for a combo. And wow, that was a nice grab. I didn't expect it to forward air. Whoa! Frenzy Zelda. Looking pretty good here. Team man probably going for a forward air off stage, and he goes for a down smash instead. Didn't quite land it. Let's see what he does with this throw here. Is he going for the read? Yes, he is. Read up air. And that was smart as well, sending Zelda up air or up into the air as opposed to off to the side. At that percent, good decision. Here comes Zelda with the over beams. And I don't know, Sheik, I'm not too sure quite has an answer for those. I think Sheik just really has to go and look for uh, some kind of opening to get a grab and then go for combos. Just like that. And then Frenzy, of course, using the combo breaker to escape it. Good decision. Going for neutral airs. Use the grab to get him into the fireball and I don't know, the way this is playing out, I would think, and it's not over yet, I would think that Zach DeChico has to be considering the next character if Frenzy decides to stick with Zelda. Because this is looking like a much different matchup. I'd almost give it the edge to Zelda being better than Sheik on this game. Good forward smash there to get Z-Man's down to his last stop. And keep in mind, everyone, Z-Man is actually up a game. So, if he doesn't have confidence in winning this game, he can still try and find a weakness and some sort of pattern in Frenzy's game style and gameplay. Good down tilt up air, but this isn't over. He's got him down to two stocks. He could still do this. Frenzy already setting up the overbeat traps. 
He's been doing really well with those lately. Setting up uh, like dash attacks, setting up a forward air. Oh, there's a back air even. Oh, that was ruthless. Z-Man playing the underdog role here. Good forward air to neutral air. And the needles. Did that take the stock? Wow! Gims! Frenzy can't even believe it. Nice! Oh, but the back air. Can't celebrate too soon. Z-Man at 62%, manages to gimp Zelda with his needles, which was pretty impressive. And now, it's one stock apiece. And is that going to do it? Yes, it will. Down air to back air, or down throw to back air. Smart play by Frenzy with Zelda. They are tied in the game set count. No, my phone. No, my iPod died. <laughs> the Chico's iPod died, everybody. Yes, right here. Does that have the same track, hopefully? Oh, I see. Dang. But the Chico's got something up his sleeve. His iPod died. <laughs> you heard it here first. The Chico is the enemy of Zelda. High five chance. Well, it looks like he's pulling out his phone, which has not the same track, but it does have something. So he's going to listen to something while playing this next match. And will he stick with Sheik? I don't know. I do not know. He might switch characters. I would consider the character switch, because Zelda is a much better character, I think. And it has some good tools against Sheik. So we are at the band banning list. Apex rules. The top row is banned, but they haven't exited those out. And we have our stages, so let's see what the Chico picks. This could determine his win or loss. This could determine his placement. So he's going to have to take everything into consideration. Let us know what you guys think. Where do you guys think he should go? Who do you think he should use? Let us know. And then we'll tell you if he does it or not, or you'll see for yourselves. And then you can... We'll all just yell at him if he loses afterwards. How's that? I see three here. Thank you guys for tuning in. We are at 28 viewers. Not bad. Really good for AZ Project Mailer. Just scrub that dish weekly. And we are waiting for Z-Man's decisions. First, he has to pick a stage. And it looks like he's looking at... Well, I'm not too sure what he's looking at. But with Zelda being the opposition... He might be wanting to look for a... And we don't even know if Frenzy's going to stick with Zelda. That's another deal. <laughs> okay, we'll see if he goes with that. And it looks like he's going Lucario. What will be his stage? Frenzy rebanning the stages. And... Hmm. Is he going to want something big? Is he going to want something small? Is Frenzy going to stick... It looks like Frenzy's going to stick with Zelda, so... See how this goes. Sorry for the delay, guys. This match is crucial. Green Hill Zone. You got what you wanted. He's going to Green Hill Zone, but he's using Lucario. So let's see how this goes. Frenzy opening up with a neutral B. Oh, he gets a good four tilt there. Oh, I can already tell you this is going to be intense. Frenzy using the up Bs to escape, and this was a good decision, I think, by Dechico going for a, a smaller stage, because Zelda doesn't have as much room to set up her over Bs. He sure called it. Oh, going for a hard forward smash, but it looked like Z-Man was daring and went in for a grab. That was nice. Oh, is that down smash going to kill? No, it isn't. Oh, we got some live and learn. We got the live and learn track. Oh, good forward air by Frenzy. Both players in this. And will that kill? No, it does not. Interesting. A small stage as this is. That DI. Good neutral air by Z-Man. And Frenzy loses his first stop. Let's see if Frenzy can figure out what to do here and make the adjustment. Good couple of dash attacks. And he decides to go after him off stage. But... Oh, nice escape there by Z-Man. He was... Almost trapped, but he found his route. Frenzy going for the neutral B there, playing a little footsies, and 
Oh, that was sick. Went for the back air as Overby set him up for a forwarder, but he missed it. Z-Man with his DI managed to get away from it. And Z-Man, oh, good recovery by Z-Man there. Went for an up B and then went with the down B immediately after. Dodging any sort of follow-up Frenzy could have had against him. Frenzy looking for looking for some kind of way to close out this first stock. Throwing out an over B there. Okay, back air, that should do it. Yep. Alright, so we are relatively even. Frenzy only at 42%, now at 54%. Oh. This is going to be kind of close. Oh, nice grab by Frenzy. Went for an up air, but Z-Man with the right timing gets away from it. Oh, nice back air by Frenzy. It looks like he's starting to understand Z-Man's uh, recovery options. Oh, it's the over B explosion set him up for a neutral B. That was nice. Oh, Z-Man going for a uh, Lucario combo there, or Lucario hump B up combo, and didn't get it. Nice grab by Z-Man, setting up for what we thought was going to be a guaranteed up air, but didn't land it. Oh, down throw to forward air, that is practically guaranteed. Frenzy, playing it smart with his recovery, going for the sweet spot. Nice forward air by Lucario, and it, wow! The Spirit Bomb lands. So Z-Man had a comfortable 89%. Take care. See you next time. Meds has left the building, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Back to this match. We are evened up. I'm not too sure how it happened, but... Oh, nice combo breaker there by Frenzy. He managed to reflect the... The blast. And, oh, Lucario combos again. Up B combos. Nice forward air. He managed to get through the over B's, which is smart. And he lands a good back air as well. Goes for the Spirit Bomb again! Wow! And gets Frenzy down to his last stock. Could be the last stock in the tournament for Frenzy. This is 2 out of 3 as a helpful reminder. And nice dash attack to back air. Huh. Didn't know that worked. Maybe it's a matchup thing. Oh, nice forward, forward smash. And let's see if Z-Man can close out this last stock. He's at 84%, which isn't too bad. Oh, nice. Over B. Those explosions. They're hard to read. And that back air does not kill. Z-Man playing smart with his recovery. He knows that he needs to get back on the ground. Oh, gets the forward tilt. Oh, the back air. Is that going to do it? No, it does not. So we are tied up, ladies and gentlemen. Forward tilt to forward smash. That seems to be working out for him. Goes for the spirit bomb. Frenzy gets away from it. Oh, that was close. Oh, that could have been it if he would have landed right on top of it. Ford Smash does yes! it. Z-Man. I am the true Zack! <laughs> Z-Man takes it with a Ford Smash. The set count is 2-1. And Z-Man proceeds into Loser's Finals. He's guaranteed third place. What a match. <laughs> Frenzy has to be upset about that one. That was just too close to call. True Zach. <laughs> I hope you guys are able to hear that. And on this day, Zach the Chico takes it.